Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna go through how to set up a voice or work holding within SolidCam 2022. All right, let's get into it. So I've got, as you can see here, I've got a, an example part from a previous video where I've got my stock size already set up um, and it's ready to be, my um, machining processes implemented on it. But first I want to import a voice, which I've already got saved, so to import a voice what you've got to do so if you come up to the top tab on assembly tab click the assembly tab you've got one called insert components you want to click on that and then you want to select i've already got a folder set up from a machine set up um so internal jaws double click that and then as you can see there is my voice now what I want to do is position this first before I click it down. It's just easier to do it this way at the start. So if I right click, I can actually rotate the job. So then what you want to do is just rotate it round to the same orientation as your job. And then just click anywhere. Left click anywhere on the screen. Okay. So there we have it. There's my voice. So then what I want to do is get my part and put it into the voice. So let's just open the voice jaws up a little bit. Okay. So what I want to do to get that part, I've already got my stock size in there, so I know where 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 I can hold on in the voice. So if I click on this top, go to the top in the assemblies tab, there's a button called mate. If I click on mate, and then I can click on the center of my stock. And then I want to mate that to the center, the midpoint rather of my voice jaws okay and as you can see there my job has moved into the center of my voice jaws okay so green tick that that's okay so then what i need to do then is actually bring the voice jaws in so if i click on my master setup um on the mates, I've already got it favorited because I'll change it a lot. Um, there's one called distance. I've, so I've actually manually set up a distance from the outside of the jaws to the center line. So as you can see, it's a hundred mil here. So if I double click on the distance, I want to go, well, first let's find out what our stock size is. So if we measure the stock size, it says 55 mil. So I want to go half of that, which is 27.5. And then click on this button, which is rebuild. As you can see, the voice jaws move in. Green tick that. Okay. So as you can see, it's in the right position. I know how much I'm sticking out from the voice. So I know how far I can go down my tooling. Okay. So let's green tick that. Okay. So then what I want to do then is make sure I have this voice um, in my setup. So whenever I come to do any any um, simulations or anything, it knows that where the voice is. So if I go back over to the solid cam tab and then my setup, which was made previously. So what I want to do is add that voice into there, but you've got one here called stored fixtures. So what I want to do is right click that, click on define fixture, and then click on CAD selection, drop down your tree, and then I want to click on the UMC 750 master setup and it's highlighted blue. Click on resume, and then that will pick everything on the um, on the voice model. So there you go, it so it turns pink, and then green tick that one. So I've got st my fixtures stored now. So then all I've got to do, if I double click on my setup one, and then on the table here, so fixture, under fixture, it says none at the moment. So if I click on the down arrow, I can see my clamping fixtures there, my stored one that I've just created. So if I click on that, and then what you want to do is click on this little button here, 
and that will basically it will recognize that the fixture and it will know where the fixture is so that will turn purple so then once it's turned purple you click on ok and then it's up so, that, so then it knows so from here on in um, any toolpaths that you do do um, when you run the simulation if you do a solid verify simulation the work holding of the voice will be within that so if there are any collisions it will flag it up so if i just make an example of that so if i just do a quick toolpath of so if I just do a quick profile toolpath, I'll show you how it looks within the simulation. So quickly. Okay, that. So if I do a quick toolpath on that one, um, quickly select a tool. So I'll quickly select a, I don't know, 16 mil, 16 mil, M mil. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to play our feeds and speeds too much just for this demonstration. Top level, top of the job, which is always selected. So if I actually go past that, it will show up a collision. So if I go to, say, just for the purpose of this demonstration to the bottom of the jaws okay just finish around it calculate that okay so there's my toolpath you can see it is going into the jaw a bit of an exaggeration for this example but you'll be able to see it when i run the simulation so if i click on simulation if i click on solid verify There you go. You can see my fixture that I created because I've got it set up in set up one. It knows exactly where it is. It knows where my stock is. So if I click on play, there you go. Clash between tool and fixtures detected, which we knew anyway was going to happen. But it just gives that extra bit of security when you've got the um, voice in there. So I've stopped that for the current situation. As you can see, it's just cut away the jaws. But yeah, it will flag up any any collisions with holders, um, any cutters. Even the sh you can set it to the shanks, the holders, um, set the clearance for the holders on it. Also, um, it's just a good way of safeguarding your tooling and your your tool pass. And there you have it, guys. Um, thank you for watching um please like and subscribe to the channel if you like the videos um if you've got any comments please leave them in the video i'm sure to get back to you and help you in any way i can um yeah thanks for watching thank you